Hi, my name is Joseph Park, and I'm in private practice in beautiful Burbank, California. Today, I'd like to talk to you about an effective surgical procedure to treat hallux rigidus, so the first metatarsal phalangeal joint, and also to maintain range of motion. This is a pleasant 65-year-old healthy female who was seen in my office with debilitating and persistent pain in the right foot first metatarsal phalangeal joint for many years. Over the previous year or so, the patient had noticed increasing pain and debilitation. There was no traumatic event to the foot or the toe, but the patient did state there was daily repetitive trauma to the area as her occupation is a dog walker. This requires her to walk up to four miles per day on average, and the patient was initially treated with conservative treatment. The patient eventually failed all conservative treatment modalities, and therefore alternative treatment options were discussed with the patient, including surgical intervention. Her past medical history is unremarkable. She is a non-smoker, and the patient was adamant about maintaining range of motion of the first metatarsal phalangeal joint. This is a perfect scenario for a patient to undergo arthroplasty of the first metatarsal phalangeal joint with Arthroflex. Arthroflex is a dermal allograft that undergoes a decellularization process that removes donor DNA without compromising its biomechanical and biochemical properties, including its growth factors and native collagen scaffold. The procedure itself begins by joint preparation, by reaming the joint appropriately and removing any type of osteophytes along the dorsal or medial aspects of the first metatarsal in particular. It is important to free up the sesamoids from the first metatarsal as well in order to mobilize the sesamoids. This is where the graft will slide in between the sesamoids and the first metatarsal along the plantar aspect. After the procedure, the recovery process is also a benefit. The patient is able to weight bear immediately with a surgical shoe typically for two to three weeks until the surgical incision is healed. At that time, the sutures are removed and the patient typically transfers to a athletic supporter shoe for two to three weeks as well. At that point, the patient would typically increase activities to some stationary machines and light exercises tolerated. The Arthroflex comes in different sizes. I typically use a three millimeter graft uh, in order to withstand the repetitive trauma and forces to the first metatarsal phalangeal joint. Biomechanical testing has shown that Arthroflex provides a high ultimate load and suture retention strength. The patient was very happy and satisfied with the results and was able to return back to her job as a dog walker, which required her again to walk up to four miles per day. The benefits of the arthroplasty of the first metatarsal phalangeal joint with Arthroflex is that it maintains range of motion has a fast recovery, and also allows for revision of the procedure in the future with possible fusion. This has really helped bridge the gap between a chylectomy of the first metatarsal phalangeal joint and a fusion of the joint, especially for patients who want to maintain range of motion of the first metatarsal phalangeal joint. Thank you.